Hi, this is Neurotic Neurotica. Um, I was just watching this lovely video from the Young Turks about the Turkish protests, and um, I was watching the lovely Anna Kasparian speak and had a thought, and I thought I would share it with you guys, um, just kind of in response to the whole video and in response to the, you know, protesting there in general. Um, so, you know, in the beginning of the video, they talk about how Turkey doesn't have much green space and they have more malls and stuff. So people are kind of upset about losing conservation area and, you know, green space, um, which is a really important issue. And then this protest kind of snowballed into um, a whole bunch of people talking about different things that they don't really like with the Turkish administration and... Um, basically it snowballed into this clusterfuck of stuff and people are really upset and they've been protesting for like four days. Um, <laughs> and in the midst of this, Cenk starts talking about how the government has started to get violent with the people, even though this is a democracy. And I just kind of thought that it was really interesting that he fluffed off the whole idea that you know, Turkey is allowed to use tear gas on citizens in subways, but America is up Syria's ass if they want to defend themselves against armed militant rebels in their country, in their own civil war. Um, and then, you know, once the American administration realizes that it was actually the rebels who were using the mustard gas or whatever. They completely ignore that it happened because they were supporting them to begin with. So, I don't know, I just felt like that needed to be mentioned in some capacity, and it was just glossed over. Um, <coughs> and then he goes you know, further to point out that... Um, American democracy just kind of says, well, we'll just pretend to open this up for job creations, even though we're going to be helping our friends in Wall Street. And Jen kind of like, you know, out of character, you know, suggests that that's somehow acceptable. And that's what Turkey should be doing instead of just saying, oh, well, we're going to do it anyways. We don't care what, you know, you guys want to do. He's like, well, at least in America, we give the people the luxury of being lied to. And I don't understand how that's any better. If any, you know, that's a lot worse if the Turkish administration continues to lie to them on top of, you know, being extreme and violent. Um, and I just, you know, I was listening to just the snippets of the very few things that they were talking about, um, you know, what the people actually don't approve of in the administration and what they find extreme. And it's not that I necessarily support secularism, but I definitely support, you know, the right for everyone to do what it is that they want to do. Um, you know, true Islam teaches that and, you know, true Muslims understand and grasp that. And I think it's time for Muslims to really wake up and smell the freaking coffee and distance yourself from Turkish administration and distance yourself from, you know, Salafis and the Gulf countries and, you know, come to the light of knowing that everything you basically were being told is a lie. And <laughs> your scholars are lying to you. And it's just, it's not going to be fruitful to continue religious pursuit on a tainted path. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in response to this video. So thank you and like and share and subscribe and uh, add me. Have a good day.